My girlfriend still has feelings for her ex. I am not the original poster. Original post in R, relationship advice. Reminder do not comment on linked posts. Trigger warnings. Cheating. Emotional distress. Suicidal thoughts. Less than. Mood spoilers. Sad. Confused and conflicted. Less than. An NBSP. Original post by you, Scareforce on Mon. July 3rd, 2023. We, 25M and 22F, have been dating for around 7 months now. You can check my post history for a more in-depth backstory. But basically she still has feelings for her ex. Tom. Now, to my knowledge, she hasn't done anything or talked to him in at least 2 months. Last week, someone mentioned him to her at work, and she got really sad. When I asked her what was wrong, she basically told me that she felt unwanted and that nobody loved her. Even though I told her how beautiful she is and how much I love her every day, she says it's more the fact that she doesn't like the idea that someone would forget about her so easily. I hug her and tell her everything's gonna be okay. Fast forward to last night, she starts getting sad again, and I tell her to be honest and just tell me what's going on. She says that she still misses and has feelings for her Tom. And how even though she loves me and wants to marry me, she gets sad because she feels unwanted. She told me she wrote up a text to him looking for closure, but apparently decided not to send it because he might not respond. I told her that she can always talk to me about these things and that I would help her through this. I asked if she needed space. And she said no, that's the last thing she wants. She wants me to be with her while she works through this. I'm feeling really conflicted. I love this girl, but it's so painful to me that after all the time and love I've given her, she's still sad because of her ex. It just hurts knowing that nothing I do will be enough. I feel like I'm pouring my heart into her, but it's just leaking out if that makes sense. I don't want to leave her, but I feel so empty and sad. That Is it really worth working through things with her, even though it hurts me? How do I approach this situation without disrespecting her feelings? An NBSP. Update by you, throw our a scare force fry. July 14th, 2023. Hello everyone. Just wanted to give an update since a lot of you were concerned in my last post. Which I really appreciate. I know it's been a few days. But this just happened. So I want to get it out. And I'm posting this on a throwaway because. For some reason. My original account isn't working. After the last post. She asked me if we could take a week apart to figure things out. I asked her if we were breaking. Up. And she said no, just taking a break and giving each other some space so we can think clearly. Now, in the past, taking breaks has never worked in my previous relationships. But hey, I thought maybe this time she'd see the wrongs of her ways and come back to me more in love than ever. So a day goes by, and we're on our break, not really talking. Then all of a sudden, late at night, she asks me if she can come over that night. I ask her why since we're on a break. She says she misses me. This is at like 1 am. So I'm sleepy and confused. Okay, I say, I let her come over. And she spends the night. The next day, she asks to come over again. I say sure, and she does. At this point, I start getting suspicious for a couple of reasons. One. Her pubic regions were recently shaved. And she has very rarely ever done that with me. And we hadn't even done anything together in like a couple of weeks. I asked her, and she just said yeah. She shaved after work. 2. She was wearing a bracelet. Which I had never seen before. I asked her about it. And she didn't even respond. So now I'm thinking something's up. But maybe it's just my insecurities. Oh well, I sleep it off. The next day, today, we go to work. We work in the same building. She sometimes leaves her phone in the car. 
and she did so this morning. Now this is where I will admit I am in the wrong. But when I was on my break, I went out to our car and looked in her phone. I saw so many messages to her ex, Tom, saying how she wanted him. Those nights she came over to my house late. She was spending the evening with him earlier. She sent him nudes of herself that I took of her. The night before when I dropped her off at home, I saw she texted him 30 minutes later telling him to come over. I felt sick to my stomach. And my heart was racing. I put the phone down. Messaged her on Facebook to never talk to me again. And blocked her on everything. Even her number. She then found me in my office and very loudly asked me what was going on. In front of my co-workers. I told her we could go outside and talk. And we did. I told her that I saw everything on her phone. She yelled at me, called me crazy, and said, I can't be with someone so insecure as you, and then stormed off. I avoided her for the rest of the day. Later, at the end of the workday, she came by again, this time smiling and pouting, very softly asking me if we could talk. I said whatever, and we went outside again. The first thing she did was threaten to get the police involved because I looked through her phone without permission, which she said was a form of breaking and entering. I kinda laughed and said go right ahead if that's what you want. Then she started tearing up and saying, why would you do that? And I asked why she'd send nudes to Tom. She said it was for validation. I asked why she would even be with me if she felt that way about him. She said that she loved me and wanted to marry me and have kids with me. I asked if they had done anything. She said no, but part of me knows she's lying. Anyways, as I'm sitting there listening to all this, a part of me is wanting to just hug her and hold her and tell her we're gonna work through this together. But then I realized that the girl I loved was never real. I just loved the idea of her. That this girl sitting in front of me with her fake tears and apologies was just going to lie again. That if I got back with her, it would just enable her further. So at the end of the conversation when she asked, are we really done forever? We can't just work through this? I told her no, and that I was never going to see her or speak to her again. To which she just stood up, said, if you say so, have a nice life and slowly walked away. I don't know what to feel right now. Why do I feel like I made a mistake? Why do I still want to unblock her and call her and tell her that I love her? I know she's not for me. Everyone at work tells me she's not for me. My family dislikes her. IDK. Is there something wrong with me? Why does a part of me feel like I could forgive her for all that? If I believed that they didn't have sex. I could look past it as just her making a mistake. I'm just so confused. An NBSP. Edit. So after I got home from work. Literally 10 minutes later my doorbell rings. And it's her. I ignore it. But then 20 minutes later she's ringing it still. So I open the door. And she's crying. Begging for me back. Telling me she'll do anything I ask her to do to make this work. That she loves me and only me and wants to marry me and have kids with me and move far away with me. I asked her, if all that was true why she'd do any of those things she did. She just cried and said she didn't know. That she's stupid and was looking for validation. That she has abandonment issues from her childhood. Anyways, after we talked I basically just stood my ground and told her there's no chance of making this work. Anymore and sent her home. She asked me to unblock her in case of emergency. And I only agreed for the next week or so while this settles down. I'm reading all your comments now. This is all just so crazy to me. How could this girl do this? I can't even fathom talking to someone else while in a relationship. Let alone cheating. An NBSP. Edit 2. Okay. So I blocked her again. Per y'all's recommendation. But before I did, she had already sent me a few texts. Was I wrong to assume we were getting back together? 
I mean we were fine yesterday and last night, if you don't want to be with me anymore fine. I'll accept that and leave you alone. I have a feeling she'll be showing up at my front door again later. I just hope I have the strength to not open it. An NBSP. Edit 3. Well, she just left my house. I opened the door after she started knocking again. But I just walked outside and didn't let her in. I asked why she was here. She asked me, why am I the only one being held accountable here? Why aren't you holding yourself accountable for breaking into my phone and invading my privacy? To which I just said, I fully know and accept what I did was wrong and I apologize. But that does not lessen what you did in any way. She then said, if you don't hear from me again, it's probably because I'm thinking of clilling myself. Goodbye, and then she got in her car and drove away. What exactly should I do now? Is she just bluffing so I'll call her to make sure she's alright? If God forbid something did happen, would it be my fault? An NBSP. Edit 4. This will probably be the last update for a while. Somehow, she managed to message me through Instagram and sent me this. Dear. I hope you never give up on us. I'm trying my best to be better. Wait for me. I love you so much it hurts to think I might lose you in the long run. Her name. Quote. Is she just trying to make me feel bad about all this? Because truthfully. It's starting to get to me. An NBSP. Reminder I am not the original poster. Gee. Wonder why she and Tom broke up. Looks like Oop is about to be the new Tom. This is exhausting to read. I mean the girl. She's exhausting. Nope nope nope. Block her and call the police the next time she shows up. That's a level of crazy that will yo-yo back to you for the rest of your life if you let it. Wait until she turns up on the doorstep saying she's pregnant. Hope Oop realized she didn't just send nude photos. She slept with him. And obviously he wasn't that interested in her still once they did the deed. So she tried to make up with Oop. I enjoy reading about how people get upset when someone goes through their phone and finds them. Cheating. As if those two things were equal. I know Reddit will change its mind on whether looking through someone's phone is okay depending on whether they found something or not. But you can't tell whether they did or not until you look at the phone. If they found cheating, an apology is never necessary. If they didn't find anything, an apology is required but it's not an unforgivable one like some make it out to be. If you don't hear from me again, it's probably because I'm thinking of clilling myself. Goodbye. If nothing else convinces Oop. I hope this does. This is classic. Classic manipulation. Huge red flag and should be a deal breaker. Emo. It will hurt a lot now. But it's nothing compared to the perpetual. Never ending hurt if Oop went the other direction. Imagine how bad Oop felt during those moments. And imagine feeling that way for the rest of OOP's life. That's the bullet they dodged saw another post by Oop. They were together for seven months and he was basically her caretaker the whole time. I was wondering why he keeps calling an adult woman a girl. But that he had to remind her to shower and make food for her kind of explains it. I hope he actually stays away from her. She sounds terribly annoying. Edit. Typo. Dude needs to call the police next time she shows up. Seriously. She's unhinged. Completely and totally unhinged. I just want to say. Stop asking people to go on breaks. It's not a thing. There's no realm in which you can be in a relationship. But not in a relationship where you and that person aren't together but because you call dibs they. Can't be with someone else. It's stupid. Just break up. Do whatever soul searching you need to do then get back together if it's right or don't. Breaks are dumb. It also attaches you to people you probably need to just not be with. Yikes. 
This was pretty frustrating to read. Op doesn't realize how terrible and unhinged his girlfriend is and how naive he sees the whole thing. Op needs to block girlfriend and stay far far away from her. I don't understand cheaters begging for another chance. Isn't the other person the one you want? You clearly didn't want your partner and were so unhappy with them, the relationship that you felt. The desire to be with another person. So why are you trying to get back with the partner you didn't want? Stop unblocking her and letting her in FFs. I'm thinking of Kliling myself. Goodbye, and then she got in her car and drove away. What exactly should I do now? Notify the police. If you have her license plates even better. Notify her family if you have their contact numbers. Do not contact her. If possible stay somewhere else for a while. Or move someone in with you for a short while. Have your safety team alert for your well-being. Is she just trying to make me feel bad about all this? Because truthfully, it's starting to get to me. Y-E-S-S-S-S-S. My god. How dumb can a person be? Mate are you stupid? It is over when she send those nude, why it is so hard to understand it. Some months down the road she's going to be in a relationship with someone else and Oop is going to be the ex she still has feelings for. Going to get a bunch of, I want you, texts and nudes from a burner phone. When I'm with him I have to think of you. Etc. Etc. Ma'am surely you can just find someone willing to RP this with you. Yikes. People need to not mess around with suicide threats. They should immediately call 911 in case they might be real. And if they aren't the person will stop using them for manipulation. This guy has doormat written all over him. I feel sorry for him because yikes. Create some boundaries and register the red flags. If my partner told me, hey I still have feelings for a past partner, then I would completely be. Like, I don't think a relationship with someone else is a good idea until you can move past those feelings. Obviously it's different if their previous partner passed away. Very different situation. Then her constantly showing up. Agreeing to unblock her instead of being like, why would you contact me in an emergency? We are not in a relationship. This girl's crazy. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.